In this video, we'll see how to write a very simple and basic macro. If you're not a developer, if you're looking this VBA code for the first time, how to write it, let us see that. Now, I am in the same Excel VBA workbook and I'm in the sheet I've created B underscore write a macro. So it's a blank sheet which is created now. Now, if you want to write a macro, what are the steps? Very first thing is you have to open the VBA editor, Visual Basic for Application Editor. So I'll just go to this developer tab and if you see there's a Visual Basic given here, I'll click on this Visual Basic. This macro, if you see, this is the window for VBA editor. In previous video, we have recorded one macro. This was the macro which you have recorded. Now that has been written in this module part. If you double click on this place, this is the module editor. Now, if you want to write a simple macro, first create here a module. Okay, how do you create it? Very simple. If you go to this insert menu bar, you see there's a module given here. Click on this module. Okay, now this module is given as module two. Now what I'll do is I'll change the name of this module. So for that, you have to go to this view properties window related to this module. These are the properties. So here you can go and change the name. I'll write as B underscore write a macro, B underscore write a macro, a simple macro, that's it. So if you see here, the name has changed, B underscore write a macro. Now, if you want to write a macro, anything, any coding part can be written in sub procedure. So make sure you write a sub part, you write as sub part, and I'll write as first macro. Open and close bracket, enter. So this is a sub procedure which I've written. First macro is a name. If you want, you can change the name also. That's not a compulsion. And finally, end sub will automatically come here. Okay, that's it. Now you can keep on writing whatever you want in between this place. So now what I want is, I want to display some text in the form of message box. So there's a code which you can write here as message box, MSG BOX. And in double quotes, you can write the text. Remember, whenever you're writing a text, you have to write in double quotes. I'll write as tutorials point that's it so that's a single line which i've written if you want to execute the code which is written here you have to just keep your cursor in between this sub and end sub and you can just click on this run button okay or else you can go to this menu bar and you can see run menu bar the first option is given as run or else the shortcut f5 from a keyboard so i'll just click on this run button and if you observe i've got this dialog box that is known as message box and this is nothing but tutorials point which is written here and i'll just click on ok so once you click on ok it will come back to the vb editor suppose you don't want to display a text you want to display some number it's very simple you just type as message box and you type here as number 100 that's it so message box 100 and again if you click on run first line will be executed it will display a message box second again a message box i'll just click on this run okay once i click on this run it says which macro do you want to run do you want to run this color macro or the first macro? I'll say I want to run this first macro. This is the name first macro. Click on run. Now, if you observe, first thing I've got as tutorials point. Second thing, I'll get this number as 100. Okay. So that's very simple message box which you can display. So you can keep on writing different text and with better. So you'll get a confidence how to write a very simple and basic macro. I hope you have understood and that's all for this video.